Breaking tonight, President Obama previously reluctant to use the word bomb to describe the Russian passenger jet crash last weekend has now done so, saying a bomb may be to blame in the crash that killed hundreds of men, women and children over Egypt. Almost immediately after this jet went down, the Islamic State terror group claimed responsibility and U.S. intelligence has confirmed that it intercepted communications between ISIS fighters that suggest the Islamic State is behind what may be the worst terror attack since 9-11. In a radio interview with a CBS affiliate in Seattle, President Obama today appearing to entertain the theory, pushed much more forcefully by Britain's prime minister, that a bomb was on board this plane. I think there is a possibility that there was a bomb uh, on board, uh, and uh, we're taking that very seriously. Joining us now, Morton Storm, a former Muslim turned CIA double agent who infiltrated the world of radical jihadism. He is co-author of Agent Storm, My Life Inside Al-Qaeda and the CIA. Morton, thanks so much for being back with us tonight. So if this was a bomb, what does it tell us and what can we expect next? Well, it tells us that, um, that ISIS, if it is from ISIS, that... Um, that they are willing now, they have people infiltrating airports, you know, in, in, in the Arab world, uh, which is very disturbing news for us, because who can you trust anymore? How can they tell whether this is something that was directed at a higher level, or whether if it is ISIS, it was a lone wolf type event? See, that, that's very early to say now, but um, I can tell you from my own personal experience from Yemen, when I used to infiltrate uh, AQAP, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, they had their own people working at the inside, the airport in Sana'a, and uh, they actually had people at the checkpoint and the passport control, and they have the people at, who, who used to handle the luggage. Uh, and, and, it, and the same, don't forget, it happened in, in, in Great Britain in 2010 with a guy called Rajib Karim. He sent encrypted messages to Anwar al He was working for British Airways in Heathrow Airport and he told Anwar al in those encrypted messages that he knew a guy who loved him, who worked for the baggage handling and, and he will, you know, they were able to do something there, like blow up planes. Does this seem like the work of ISIS to you? Do you think it's sophisticated enough to pull this off? Absolutely. Uh, we should never under mis- uh, underestimate the power of ISIS and Al-Qaeda. You know, they have proven so many times before that they're capable of doing things. I mean, we have uh, obviously, uh, uh, as for Al-Qaeda's uh, point of view, we, we, we have many attempts, uh, such as uh, Abdul Muttalib, uh, Richard Reid, the shoe bomber, and, you know, there was many attempts to blow up airplanes, so it's not a new thing. 9-11 in United USA in 2001, you know, everything. So do not un- underestimate these people. They are capable of hitting us anywhere they want. There's been there's been a lot of criticism of the security at this Egyptian airport, and you know the United States. We like to believe we like to believe that we have a better system. That our TSA agents have a screening process in place. That when they make us wipe down our hands and so on, they're testing for you know bomb residue. That that's going to stop a bomb from getting on board a U.S. aircraft. Do you believe, notwithstanding what you saw in Yemen? You know, the Yemeni airports are different, we think, from JFK. Do you believe it could happen here? Yes, don't forget, um, you know, we had an, an incident in, in, in United Kingdom years ago with the nuclear bombers. That was, you know, homegrown terrorism, uh, a terrorist plot, you know, uh, to blow up air, airplanes over the United uh, USA, so, but, but from UK. So I'm saying these people can, can, can do it, and uh, even though we have strong security in our airports, uh, they are sophisticated enough to, and they, we have seen that, uh, to, to create bombs that cannot be detected. So. And so- so now, if it's not ISIS, you know, even if it's not ISIS, what is the risk in your experience of attempted copycat incidents? You know, they get an idea, they claim responsibility for it, even if they don't own responsibility for it, and then, and then they try to do it themselves. Yes, you you have many people who want to become martyrs and uh, and 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 take the and take the credit for these kind of things. Um, uh, you know, a, a guy who will sacrifice, such as Abdul Muttalib, who came from a very rich family, who willing really to sacrifice his own life to become a martyr for this cause. Um, uh, the, the, and, and you know, lone wolves, um, plenty of them out there, uh, for sure. That that there will be people again uh, trying to do the same. Mm-hmm. 
And if it is proven that this was a bomb on board this aircraft that killed so many Russians, uh, all the experts are saying Vladimir Putin will retaliate and it will be uh, strong. Morton, thank you very much for being here with us. Thank you very much. All